If I get a snipe here, then this is a really good path. But if I don't get a snipe, how dangerous is it to go this path if I don't get a snipe? Right, so if, what if I go this way? I try to snipe through it. There's two shops, kind of awkward. Hmm. How dangerous is it if I don't get a snipe? So if I, if I do get a snipe here, then this is not bad. I get a shop and then I can't fire three elites. If, what if I go for this? If I go for this and then the two shops feels really awkward. If I, um, if I go here, two shops seems kind of redundant, but I get an extra upgrade, extra upgrade, and then I get two elites anyways. So that's four campfires, two elites, two shops, not bad. And if I don't get a snipe, then I uh, probably just rem remove a card or maybe max HP. Max HP is pretty strong, but for a curse, I'm not sure. Max HP is probably worth it, maybe, for a curse. Mango for a curse. The biggest problem with that is that card quality is very important, especially in Act 1. And by removing a card, aka removing the curse, the Max HP is quite strong, but... Spending money on removing means that, um... I can't buy a card that I might need, or I can't buy a potion that I might need, or remove something else, like a strike. So my card quality is going to be worse, but I might want to have more HP, and I don't like that. I don't like that. Now if we go for the snipe... Um, I mean, if this fails, if this fails, uh, are we dead if we hit this elite anyways? Or can we just barely do it, and then we might struggle, but at least we have a shop, and then we'll rest, if anything. And three elites is pretty strong, act one. I don't like that double shop. I really don't like that. Unless this gives me like this event gives me gold, and maybe it's worth it. It's a really good. It's really, it is a good path. Otherwise, I mean, I don't mind doing a snipe here, and if it hits, it's actually really nice. If it doesn't hit, it's not the world. It's not the end of the world, because I'll be full HP going to this. If it doesn't hit the snipe, and then I'll have a shop into three campfires, two elites, and that'll be. That's not bad. Moving a card is temp tempting. Here, who's the boss? Uh, we're gonna be a card here. Stop, Isaac. Let me see. Oh, Yo, we're also with the tier one. Thank you, buddy. All right, let me think. If I don't hit the snipe, it's probably not the end of the world. So, Clay for AoE versus Twin Strike. Hmm. I like Twin Strike on average, but I think Clay here achieves more purpose. So, now I won't be full HP, but. Hmm. Huh. Alright. Not bad. Whoa! Oh my god. Brother, mother of mayhem, that's a feed on floor four. Alright, GG. Not yet, but very good. Got the snipe and it's feed. The different levels, so if they tier two, they're spending more money on a month. And there's are other there are other perks for tier two that you could do. Guys, I actually commissioned some elites, uh, some some elites, some emotes. I'm gonna have some more emotes coming by the end of the week. I, d I did commission some new ones, so I'm gonna have more emotes. All right, I'm gonna be excited. But tier two, like you, you're putting more money to support the creator, but also sometimes there are higher tier emotes you can have. And maybe some people put different privileges. So like, I know maybe some people tier three subs get Snapchat. I don't know. I mean, this is making that shit up. But like, there's who knows. But there's definitely a higher tier of emotes. I don't currently have that. I commissioned some elites. Okay, so do I do I ever take this to get that threshold for that shop here? Because 250, 280 gold can hit a threshold at a shop for a good relic. And so is, is this something I always think about? If you're tier three sub, I'll give you my Snapchat. Wink, wink. Only fan, baby. No, I don't know. Hitting the threshold is quite nice, but and then I asked to remove the Dow. I wonder if I just hit the threshold here. 
Alright, I gotta eat my food. I'm talking too much. Well, fuck, man. Threshold or not? It gives us a lot of access to. Uh, it gives us access to a lot of relics. We hit the uncommon pool with this with this gold. We hit the uncommon pool. Hmm. Sure. I like. I like sniping. Oh, we got a feed. Blue candle. Whoa. Maybe we don't mind the curse at all now. What? Okay. Optimal. 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 Give me the inflame. There's a world where you do do wield for the feed, and you're like, I'm gonna cheese, but you do inflame here always. All right, what do we hit? Exhume for feed, and oh my lord! Don't tell me I'm doing it. Don't tell me I'm doing the exhume. Don't tell me I'm doing it. Is that worth it? Exhume feed. Is that worth it? Hmm. I like keeping for damage here. Do we keep the doubt because of blue candle? What do you guys think about orange pellets? So what does this do for us? Orange pellets gives us the ability to screw up Snekawai, but it also gives us the ability to make Berserk a little bit better. It's good for the heart when we get there. It makes Berserk better. It makes potions that more potent. Because you can make potions like flex pots and stuff like that. Pots is good, but um, you know I can save my money for something else. Do we like Juju here actually? For the run, Juju is a, se a secret killer, a secret sleeper pick. I wonder if we do exhum for feed. I, I feel like it has to be worth it, right? And I think I like this for damage, and I think we're gonna remove a strike now. Are we confident we can kill the elite with this right here? Do we want to? Do we want to buy a potion for the elite? Mm. We, have, we have an inflame. I think we're fairly confident here. I want to upgrade feed, guys. I want to get that going. But I also want to upgrade the inflame for the elite. But man, I'm so greedy. Smiling mask? Absolutely. So now feed hits that threshold. That's so worth it to me. That's so worth it. Wait, what's going on here? Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> oh god, that's a really bad draw. Uh, okay, this makes the elite a little bit harder. This makes the elite a little bit harder. Uh, maybe I should just remove the doubt. Maybe I don't care about it. Yeah, we just gotta draw into Exhum and then we have another feed. Just need Exhum. Just need Exhum. Okay. Okay, battle chance is big. Battle chance is big, 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 big. That makes the doubt turn like that. Not as bad. Do we skip the elite? Are we scared? Um. So what, what can we do with the duplication pipe? We can duplicate inflame if we need to. Duplicate hemokinesis if we need to. Um. I'm 55 life. How's Grumman now? Oh, we fought Laga. So it's Grumman or Triple Sentry. No. Triple Sentry. If cleave. Got some. We got duplication pipe in a pinch. Feed is pretty good. Single target. From the knob, we have Bash Plus. <clears throat> Inflame. I'm trying to think. <coughs> I'm trying to think here. Do we... We're never dying, right? Mm, we're never dying here. That's that, that's that's the key point. Do I just do duplication on, on Inflame, or do we save it for maybe like double Bash or double Hemokinesis? I think we definitely save it. We keep Exhum, because we might do Feed for damage here. Ooh. Okay, so we can get lethal extra duplication if we need to. I think we do feed us for damage. Do we ever want to try to find Bash first and give him strength? That might be worth it. Do we ever want to find Bash for strength, or do we want to like maybe get Bash Hemo next turn? Does this just count as playing that skill? Thank god. I think we do this for damage. Because we can always exhume it. Okay. Maybe you do du duplication on Hemokinesis here. 
So we have 24. We have 48. We can get lethal here. Uh, we try to greed for feed. I don't think we greed for feed. So we say this is worth it to save this damage here. Whoa, spot weakness. Okay. Hmm. Twin Strike is really good as well. We already have an inflame. Twin Strike dumps our strength. Spot weakness is so good though. Hmm. So we'll feed here. So Blood Pot is a really nice insurance. Feed. Where you at, son? Maybe I can keep a dot in my deck. That's, that's one damage I don't need to take, right? But I want to make sure I draw a zoom. Got it. Look at our life. Look at our life go. Okay, that was another two feats. Okay, so we got armaments. If we do armaments plus, that upgrades my defense for the guardian. That's pretty good. Armaments plus for the guardian. Battle turns armaments plus. I, I, I proof. I have bigger proof. Bigger proof. So a double feature would be sick. Don't know how possible that's gonna be, but I can probably just go full aggro because we have good damage coming up. We're drawing to our best cards here. Oh, how much is this? Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Say it ain't so, man. All right, let's, getting one more feed here would be phenomenal. I think we can actually get the feed here with Hemokinesis Exhumed Feed on Spot Weakness. Let me see. I maybe want to keep... Mm, let me see. I've only had armaments now, right? Let me see. So how much is feed going to be for? I have 5 strength. Feed is going to be... 17. 17 is exactly 36. And next time we might take some damage. This is worth it. This is worth it, baby. Nah, I don't, I don't need a butt pie here. We're totally fine. I can save life here as well. I'm at 102 life. Lizard tail. Oh, I, wait, this is deja vu, dude. This is Deja Vu. I had 180 life Lizard Tail Fairy Bottle. I, I know this is Deja Vu. Something's going on here. Wait a minute. No, no, no. No. Can't. No way. I can't do it. No, I don't say it in so. It's not even good. That's not even good. I mean, it's a good attack, but like, okay, let me think about this. Let me eat some food. Pushing for damage is a little dicey, huh? 
I wonder if I just get, get, zoom, out, get zoom out of the deck there. Might have had lethal actually. Do I leave him up? Is a bash? By time? Was it by time? What was that blood pot? So I think we do this. It's all my blocks though. That's kind of crazy. We have a level strength. That should be GG. We don't have a way to strength. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need that moving forward. Now it's time to zoom feed for later. Because we're gonna wanna play it. That's a pretty good bash. Um not quite lethal. Do I just do bash defense? Do we just do over defense by weakness? Not bash at all. Is that better? To over defense by weakness? I'm trying to avoid using blood pot. Bash defense means I'm pushing for lethal next turn, and then maybe I, on the following turn I can get a feed, actually, if I do bash defense. Yeah, I think I like this because I can get I can set up feed here. Oh, the stop weakness double defense was not bad. This has some good feed. I like that. Give me feed. Give me feed. Alright, we should get feed next turn. In a perfect world. How much damage is it going to be if I get it next turn? Do I want to replay Bash? If I get more strength than it, all I need is like a strike feed and that's probably worth it. Well then, actually, here's the problem with that. I leave myself a 1 HP. Hmm, let me think. Maybe just do one attack here. I can't because he's vulnerable. I'll do this. Okay. So Berserk gives us energy, um, as energy insurance. Limit Break basically takes our inflame and our spot weakness and gives us the ability to go crazy with our strength. If we don't have a way to dump strength, we should find that at some point. Corruption gives us the ability to play all of our, our skills and later on maybe get some Fatal Pain shenanigans going on. It also gives us the energy benefit of Corruption, which is not bad. Corruption feels like it's less of the pick versus the other two here. Well, limiting spot weakness is actually a not good. So depending on spot weakness for limit break is scary, but inflame and spot weakness together makes limit break feel better because you have two ways to get the limit break online. And it's not only till after spot weakness so you're gonna really feel it. So we can probably that's probably enough strength for the rest of the run if we just take limit break, those three components. It's a little finicky, like you have to get the order of things correctly. It means you have to get like spot weakness when they're attacking and before limit break. You have to draw in flame before limit break. If those things are not true, then you have to have headbutt to bring it back, which it's not too hard to find. It just delays things. But if you have that strength scaling, then um, you know we have max HP. So max HP goes really well with strength scaling, because then all you gotta focus on is strength scaling and winning. Um, so I think the break's fine, but Berserk is also energy insurance. So Kursky with blue candles feels okay, right? We still don't like having curses, but with blue candle, it's surely a little bit better, right? Still don't want to draw into curses, though. Uh, we have we do two elites here. Um, I think we practice hallway fights a little bit. I do like the shop, so I think I like just like... There's potential two elites, one earlier. I like this campfire, campfire, a lot of campfires, two elites. Do you want to get Sparkle out of the way now so that in Act 3 we're not forced to do it? Or is, the, is this path just too good? Let's go here first and see what happens. 
Yeah, I don't want to draw into these curses. It's kind of crazy, huh? So... How much does this do? Not enough. I think we take damage here. I think we do this because we do have we do have uh, multiple feeds, and we have Exu. So we have three feeds technically. Technically, we have three feeds. So this is the unupgraded one, but I think we we bite the bullet there, right? It's one less HP. Big whoop. And now we set up feed on the other one. So we have another feed here, guys. Uh, you know, sky's the limit at this point, boys. I think we use Blood Pot now. And look at us go. So heavy weight dumped our strength. That's a way to dump our strength. We found it. I would like to weaken, but dumping the strength feels pretty good. Whoa. Okay. So a little a little thing to notice about Blue Candle. If this is Necronomic Curse, if I have Funeral Pain, I could technically keep doing Blue Candle Necronomic Curse and get Funeral Pain block. It's a little broken. And I like it. So if, we, if this is Necronomic Curse, Funeral Pain becomes huge priority. That is free block. I say free, it's 1 HP. You get Tungsten Rod, it's free block. So, just look for Necronomic Curse there. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Um, we can do energy pot here just to get more damage. Set up feet coming up. Oh, do we have a heavy blade feet coming up as well, right? We have heavy blade feet coming up. I could do energy pot instead of lethal here, but this is also. Uh, how much is that? 60. Okay. Did we do energy pot here just to get the feed? Oh, offering is really good. Oh, okay, here's the problem though. So true is gonna be very crucial to start removing some of the curses, maybe. I don't have to use my face. Get rid of the strikes. If I get rid of the strikes, I have limit break that much easier. True is really good block. Uh, Thunderclap does give us some AoE, which we're kind of lacking. So Thunderclap could be, Thunderclap could be like a little precursor to Cleave, and that's how we handle Slavers. Because right now Slavers is kind of tough, but offering is just really good. That's a nice free driver, not. Um, you kind of notice. You kind of notice that we uh. Hmm. One second. I think well, AoE is going to be the biggest concern here, though. And getting a social weaken. Mm. I think we're offering now to draw feed. Do I have lethal? Do I just ignore feed for this fight? Or do we really, 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 really try to greet out for the feed? Because we have lethal now with limit break heavy blade. Do we greet out the feed? Or we're gonna have, like, at this point, I should definitely not greet, I don't think, because I don't know, I'm probably gonna rest anyways, but getting down to. Let me decide here. Feed's coming up, but that's a lot of damage to take. I guess I'm taking 17 for a feed. 17 damage to get more max HP. Even I'm like, eh, maybe not. So now I wonder if I take the thunder clap here because I need some AOE, but I don't want to. I'm not. I don't want to commit to that one. We have courier here. We could take mango. So uh, anchor's really good here. I think we just slam anchor here, and maybe we. Remove a strike. Slam anchor, remove a strike. 
I'm keeping the curses in the deck, even though we don't like drawing them, but it's fine. There's a world where we get strength scaling with rupture. We don't need that. Not nah, we don't need that at all. Drop it gives us more damage. I think what's more important is that we have uh, some AoE source at some point. I don't, I don't rest now because I could get a rest after I get a feed in this fight. So what's more important here is I think there's two things we want to upgrade. Maybe Hemokinesis and Heavy Blade. Heavy Blade just makes the damage that much better. I could upgrade the second feed so that no matter what feed I draw, I have the, the, the best feed possible in terms of max HP. But I feel like this feed is just kind of a mistake to take in the first place. I think it was a mistake to take in the first place. But... Oh, we got Barricade, which is quite nice. I mean, it's a little rude to say it's a mistake. I don't quite mean it's a mistake. All right, it's not a mistake. Don't, don't, don't capital D call me, okay? It's not a mistake. We're gonna get vulnerable here. We're gonna be vulnerable. We probably can rest after this. I'm, I'm planning to rest after this fight anyways. The Mimpreak's not a, mass, a must upgrade at the moment, no. But... Not taking this damage is definitely something I would like to uh, address. So a Reaper would be great. We need a emulate AoE, so yeah, we definitely need a lot of stuff here. And either way, I am planning to rest here. And Lizard Tail also exists, so it's not the other world. Let's get the better let's get the better feed here. Yeah, we'll, we'll rest here. That's my AoE, that's not bad. We'll skip everything else here. Alright, a decent rest. I think that's a, we, Book of Seven is kind of scary, we don't have a disarm. I think we take these curses, even though uh, they're starting to get a little bit dicey. Oh, Corruption might be playable. Corruption might be the play? Huh. Let me think here. Let's draw first. Okay. Perhaps is probably the play here. Because the fight's like once the fight once I cycle back into my deck, my deck is gonna basically exhume limit break again if I need to, or we're gonna just kill these things with heavy blade and feeds. We're gonna have only wounds. The problem is we're gonna this guy has to die quickly because if I corruption, I'm gonna get wounds very quickly. But I think we should be fine with that. I wish I can play offering, that'd be great. So what if let's kill the wound guy now? We'll come back to him. Alright, we had three feeds in this fight, but I think I can only use two here. I killed the wound guy here. Alright, so we can get two feeds. That's that's good enough, right? Pretty nice. Meal ticket is sustained, that's beautiful. Okay, now demon form. Demon form is just like passive scaling, but we have limit break spot weakness. So limit break makes me not that concerned about anything. I play it and I forget it, right? But we have inflame, limit break, and spot weakness. It feels like demon form is definitely redundant. We got two feeds in the last one. I'm coming back to Thunderclap Gate again. I think Thunderclap is quite okay aoe that i might need but we just got through the slavers we have, unfortunately have to skip this now if i can guarantee the event that makes me get max hp i would take demon form in a heartbeat speaking of which i wonder if we go for this elite here and then event there or do we want to maximize hallway fights i don't necessarily want hallway fights here but i'm still scared about book of stabbing i can say that much they, they were elites those sleeves they, i know they looked really easy but those were elites yeah they looked easy but yeah those were elites Kind of a pushovers, but definitely elites. I can't feed on these guys. That, that upsets me. Not being able to feed on these guys is upsetting. Here it comes. Here it comes. Alright, so we get, do we just have feet right here? So how much is feet right now? It's plus 6, so it's 18, 18 is going to be 27, 27 plus 66 is how much? 
enough, right? Let me just double check. It's gonna be 27, yeah, cool. <laughs> nice. Alright, so we got through the fights that didn't that wanted AoE and we got through it. Bird face, nice. Oh, okay. Duplicate a card in your deck. Now you're t now you're joshing me, huh? Okay, I'm gonna have to think about this one. Now I'm gonna have to think about this one. Okay. If we do double limit break, the problem with double limit break is So collect your bonus on feed, that's a thought. The other thought is maybe double in flame so limit break always has hits. Um double limit break means later on when I'm Looking for scaling, I have the scaling in spades. Another thought is double battle trends basically means I can more easily find my scaling or even honestly double offering. So double offering basically means I can find my scaling that much quicker. Battle trends is similar because battle trends doesn't exhaust itself. I think battle trends, I think offering is probably better here. But there's a world where we also think about doing Inflame number two, because inf we have Bird Fits Earn, so Inflame is also card draw. I mean, uh, energy gain. I mean, health gain. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, so that's always health gain, and it makes another break. I think the offering is probably just better here. The only problem here is that we don't have that much block. We're using our health as a resource, and we're just scaling like crazy, and Heavy Blade's killing. Yes, I fed on the elite. Hmm. Let me think here. Let me think here. Double limit break makes the scaling truly immense once we get there, but it depends on certain factors. Free barricade is quite nice. So this is a fight for triple feed, by the way. I just take twelve damage to the face. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. I want to get the, the good feed on both of them. That's, re that's really greedy, but I'm doing it. That's really greedy, but I'm going to do it. I want to get the good feed on both. Should I, should I be greedy here? I, I'll greet it. I'll greet it. I'll greet it here. So now we would like to get a Reaper to actually have comeback mechanic here. Alright, so we're going to agree for double feed yet again. Obviously, I'm taking some damage here, but I still think it's worth. Okay, maybe just get one feed then. That's unfortunate. Can only get one feed here. I tried being... I took a lot of damage for things that were never going to happen. That's unfortunate. Fire breathing is AoE, and we have curses. So since blue candle exists and we have curse key, do we take fire breathing for the AoE? It's not... Well, we're going against the champ, right? Yeah. Metallicize for block. Our block's a little suspect. Okay, so we just upgrade. Are we... Do we have enough consistent block for this fight? I'm a little bit worried. I think we scale up quick enough that it doesn't matter. I think now's a good time to do... Now's a good time to do the limit break upgrade for the champ. Yeah, we're not going to 43 heal, but... I think now's a good time for the limit break upgrade for the champ. An elixir. I, the offerings are definitely taking a toll on my life. That helps me scale quickly. Get a dexterity here. 
just got calipers for barricade now. Yeah, that'd be nice. So we don't have weak, and that's the only problem. The only problem is we don't have weak. Huh. And we also don't have good block. We gotta get rid of the feats because we wanna make sure we can get more consistent draws. So we're about to win. I could split him now. Just do bash and redraw into heavy blade here. I'm about to be weakened, that's the only problem. So we just wait for the weakened to wear off. We wait for the weakened to wear off and then we, we try to do heavy blade feed here. Could just push him, I guess. Yeah, you know, wait for we can wear off here. But I might not get feed, unfortunately. Now he's not bashed. Let's do armor to get better card draw here. Oh, should we actually get heavy blade feed? Do we do too much damage if we do heavy blade feed? If I do bash, doesn't heavy blade feed do too much damage? So is there a world where we just do limit break? I know I, I always agree, min max is really important, but if I if I do bash then heavy blade does too much damage. But if I just do this then Let me see. Heavy blade's gonna be way too much damage. 64 times 5. It's already lethal. Not necessarily actually. 64 times 5? Oh yeah, it's lethal. If I don't limit break, then I can leave myself. I can leave myself doing feed. Feed's gonna come up. We don't do limit break here. Wow, that sucks. Uh, feed should be coming up though, right? What the hell's feed? I think I like ancient more than elixir here. I'm not sure. Um, what does Ancient do for us? Probably is better than- what's Elixir doing for us? Getting rid of statuses? Uh, that's pretty good. Later on, no. So we get more card draw here. Um, it's a power that you can play for this. It makes you get more card draw, which basically means you cycle into your defense more often, which is pretty important, but you also cycle into limit break more often, which is pretty important. It's probably just a skip otherwise. Yeah, we're not taking demon form. This is probably a skip. I would have loved Reaper here, or I would have loved like an Exhum again, or Impervious. So Impervious is really important here. Reaper, Impervious, and maybe Exhum. Is Brutality or skip? Yeah, but I think my dog has to use the poopy. I think he has to. Yeah, Reaper is really. Yeah, that's the number one thing we're looking for. I mean, Brutality's not the worst because I think we're with the curses and curse curse key. We're we're getting a lot of bad draws. And we have anchor, so I think we take battalion and upgrade it. Uh, we don't need five energy, right? This gives us more sustain, which sustain might be bad because we are taking a lot of damage. We have Miltigar for sustain though, and Birdface Urn. I think we take the Black Star here. We still have to do the Sparkle Elite, and more relics would be fantastic. And we upgrade the brutality because we want to use it with anchor, and we go this path. This path is pretty good. Maybe we go for the events here. Hopefully, the events is a shop. Double feed here potentially. In the event that it's not, we just kill one of them right now. We still double feed here. That's the goal. I 
Double feed. Double feed. No, you son of a- No. 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 Why? We take 18 for feed here? I don't even know. Too many curses in the deck. Oh man, okay. Do I take 18 for feed? That seems nuts. That seems nuts. I've been taking damage in this fight anyways, huh? So we're taking... Not even 18. Sorry, we're taking 21 for feed. Yikes. Hmm. We hold on. Take 5 right now. Six. That's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Does we can affect me next turn? I don't think we can affect me, right? I should still get enough damage throughout weaken because we get thirty. He's gonna do 34, 34 weekend is gonna be like still still enough. Hey buddy. Alright, get the block. Boom. Alright. Glad we waited. Shrug. Oh my god, the first shrug I've seen all game. We also got We also got AoE. Armaments, please? Dexterity as well. So, we can only feed once in this fight. That's unfortunate. This just counters my strategy. Don't you hate when things counter your strategy? Combust kills that guy at the end. It's whatever. Uh, we, need, we, need, we, need to get, we need a shop in this event to get some healing back. That's what we need. So many offerings. I wonder if I just don't do offering here. I think we just don't do offering here. Oh. Oh, let me see. 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 We need to get some block for the heart, guys. I mean, we can technically just... So, this is why max speed is so important. Because since I don't have block, when I don't have disarm, my HP is a resource for the heart. And... So why is it so imperative I get max HP? So I can use my health as a big fat resource. Lizard Tail also exists. And then we just get so much damage with Limit Break, we just win the fight. Without HP, I don't have that luxury. I'll do it. Damn. At this point, we're fiending. We are fiending for a Reaper or a shop in the event. Okay. We're very close to feed, we're not quite there. So how do we do this? Like so. Okay. Now we gotta get zoom here. Exhum we got this. Come on, Bubby. Give me exhum. There it is. Okay. Not bad. I don't need another one to skip, skip, skip. Do you explosive buys instead of Ancient Pot? That helps me with the Reptomancer. Alright, shop. Oof, this is triple feed, hopefully. These Thorny Boys are a pain in the butt. I'll tell you that much. Yikes. Oh, give me card draw. Not like this. Uh Okay. Alright, I think I don't know how we're gonna do this. Our block this is like why does it always counter me guys? I don't get it. Whenever I don't have block This is what happens. I get triple thornies. Only when I don't have block. The game's cruel. I gotta just kill them. Just gotta kill that guy. I need a healing. And also, honestly, I'd probably just do offering right now. 
And we get feet on this guy too. Can I? I don't think I can. But soon? Soon. There we go. That's the feet turn. This is it right here. Tell me this is it. Oh, this will set up the feet turn. That's what's important. And next turn is the feet turn. That's it. Is there a... Okay, did we... Honestly, do we want to stall here? We can get a second exhum. Um, because we can take a lot less damage. I think... We're going to a sparkle. I don't know. I think taking less damage is probably important. There's no reason not to stall, right? There's no reason not to stall here. I always need to get some block. I'm good. Just need block. Block. There it is. Alright, uh, no more thornies, please. No more thornies. I would appreciate that. Uh, let me see the bomb strike here. No, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Um, yeah, we're good. Alright, give me a shop. Ooh, do we? Okay, we don't do that, right? Give me that gold. I want to have courier. The gold means so much to me. That courier, give me a shop, please. Now this is interesting. I don't want to lose my precious max HP. I think I don't want another curse. That's for sure. So we just take the lose the max HP. And we cry. We never. Uh, I think we do this. It's pretty important. But okay, we need. That shop. I, we might skip the leads and go for, unless it depends on the events. If the events are nice, we don't. I want to do two leads because we have Black Star. But if not, we go to that shop. All right, the, limit break needs to pop off here. Here's limit break. Do we, do we even do? Do we even do combust? Is it worth it? It's healing. Fuck it. All right. Now we need headbutt. Where's our headbutt? Well, we have Black Star, so each elite is two re relics. That's insane, dude. And there's a, there's, a, there's a shop in Act 4, so there's no rush. Double offering. This might be the turn to kill. Double offering here. It might be the turn to kill. No joke. Uh, it, it wasn't that good of damage, I'll be honest. That was whatever. Next turn is a much better turn. Should we played? Okay. This is getting scary. We gotta push. Let me break. Where are you? It's getting scary. Hurry up. There you are. Thank you. Uh, hmm. Alright. Okay. I'll rest. I'll rest here. Okay, I'll rest. Red Skull and Turtle Feather. Oh, I don't need to rest. Oh, God. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Feather me up, baby. Yeah, we love Heavy Blade, man. Okay. Do we do spot week number two? Nope, never. Uh, these are pretty bad cards. I guess Grab Kick is a thing. Pretty bad card. No, skip. Wow. Give me the sustain. Ooh, I think we rest anyways. That's a pretty. What? What do we want to upgrade? Like maybe we upgrade the offering for more card. Eh. Skull is really good as well. I think we just rest. I like Metallus as upgrade. I'll rest here. We, we still have to recall. Let me not forget. All right. Ah, Sapphire. Okay, we have a lot of curses, man. Got a shop. Got a dead branch. Got a med kit. No. Wait. Say it ain't so. Did we do it? Wait. Let me eat some more food. Let 
Well, here's the thing. I don't have corruption. Is that actually even good for us? You're all good, but I don't have corruption. Oh, man. Oh, man. True gets really good, too. To take duplication pot, did I do this? Potion duplication? Wait. Isn't secret technique... Isn't secret technique my dead my limit break activator? That's, that's the second limit break. This is the second limit break. So now pains and curses are not as bad because now I get cards from blue candle, so it's fine. Potion duplication is worth it, but yeah, I'll do this. Demon form. Now I don't mind you, baby. If you're free, hop on board. Hop on board, baby. But look at this. Now, not as bad. Not as bad. Hmm. Scary. Whoa! Look, I want a card draw, but like... Okay, cool. I need Muffin Hand. I get Muffin Hand? Oh my god. Say it ain't so. If I get Muffin Hand, I want you guys to just cry tears of joy. I want everybody to just cry tears of joy if Muffin Hand exists. And comes to me. Oh my god, power through medkit? Say it ain't so. That's just, that's just mean. That's just mean. I don't want to be mean. You gotta respect this guy. Oh, we got, we got Burp Preserve, so we can actually heal off these powers really nicely. I can probably kill him. I probably could have went for the kill, but I decided against it. This, this is negative one HP. Because the fight lasts. Okay. Well. So I thought my watcher run was above power level. Well, power level is now way above this time as well. Sometimes in life you just get power level at all different rates. Uh, I like rupture here, but I also don't want to take damage. That's entrenched. Where's my barricade? That's what I want to know. I mean, I can kill this guy. If I can left. Maybe, maybe, if things are going my fa way, way, maybe I can kill this guy. So I take only 3 damage to do this, whereas this blocks... I take 3 damage as well. Hmm, interesting. I take 4 damage that way. Okay. Potion. Nice. Shrug. Nice. Okay. So, we go to elites. And now we unironically play this. Unironically to get more card draw and more things. To do more things with more card draw. And then more things from more card draw. <clears throat> Sever soul means I get energy back. That's a consideration. Did I get rid of exhume? Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I think we definitely do this. And then we play this. And then we do offering Severed Soul anyways. Huh. Huh. Oh, but that's pretty good. But this is better. Because that's a weakened and a heavy blade. Huh. Well, I guess I could do a lot of things. I could even go for more block with rage and more damage as well. 
and set up the kill coming up and get a dexterity. Okay, full block out of nowhere. Dead branch is a broken relic. Now we wait, go for lethal. We got entrenched. We are broken. All right, feed. I want you for next turn. You heal me? You hear me? So we want to play some of these powers to get some healing. Um, how do I get my feet? Do I just kill him? We just kill him. Toy Ornithopter. That's a sustain. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So Essence of Steel versus what here? What do we get rid of essence? Do we get rid of the strength pot? The strength pot can help us get that much more limit break. The explosive pot probably shows. Repto Mitchell just gives you a thing though. We have Repto, so I think we get rid of this bad boy. Essence is not even good. Why did I take that? Barricade is good though, on the other hand. Oh my lord. Mama, there goes that man. Which pot was it hit? I want to get in flame here. I'll do this. So we the work the way you work around the system here is you you get exhaust to get powers powers give you healing that's that's quite nice I might want to do an offering again no I think we're, we're overdoing it here do I want to sack barricade or want to do damage this damage is kind of paltry I like that now that is something I want to that's nice now we just get corruption out of nowhere and this game over. Cool. We definitely do Berserk. Uh, let's see. What's our strength? Let's do this. I want to limit break. That's why I'm doing this. I want to limit break. Uh, Dead Branch supersedes that. Whoopsies. Ah, uh, Spike Weakness. I depend on Spike Weakness too much. So if they're not attacking. I'm kind of screwed, because I do defend us by weakness a lot. That is problematic. break so we could be able to probably get feet here but we didn't actually get a lot of strength because uh as you know we don't have headbutt but also we never got spot weakness hoping that we can get the feed so we can still greet for one feed right still possible still still possible still worth if we have to kill here we kill here but all right we just go here then Energy pot. I think energy pot is probably better than that. Yeah. Bloodletting. Blood is interesting because I can play a lot of stuff. I can play a lot of stuff with bloodletting with dead branch. That might be a little cloggy, but I'm using my health as a resource big time. I also hit a better threshold for feather if I get another card here. Is bloodletting with the fact that I exhaust so much maybe worth it for dead branch? Probably not. But I mean, I'm running low on energy sometimes. Okay, rep dementia. We gotta focus up. We gotta focus up here. That's a clash. Oh, uh, second win clash. Okay, offering here just to get energy. That's cool. I want to kill the minions here, and then I want to stack up. I want to kill the minions, and then I want to get enough strength to kill the um. The reprimation in one shot. I 
that's cool. I guess I could technically focus on the, uh... I wish I just... I don't like the steering blow, damn, it's kind of awkward. Shockwave's nice. I wonder, I wonder if I just play Shockwave Energy Pot, because, eh, like, why not? I want to play Heavy Land on top, maybe. I got Clash now, so we get more Kronite procs. Like, don't tell anybody, but, like, I just got a lot of dexterity off that. That was a nice turn. Don't tell anybody. It's a good cleave. I might just explosive by here, because I don't care about it otherwise, right? I don't care about it otherwise. Alright, now we try to set up feed here. Our goal is feed. So now we make it, we want power through for sure. Let's see what we can get here. Make it with days is actually sick. Ooh. How much damage do we have? My goal is to get lethal. Feed. Let's see. Not quite, huh? If we use it now, we can exhume it next turn. We can exhume it next turn. We get it next turn. This heals us as well. Right, how much damage do we have if I hit? So. Exhume the break. That should be enough, right? Exactly. By one. So that was an easy fight. Ginger strike dummy. Ooh, got two strikes left. Um, we don't have heavy strike or twin strike, so strike dummy is not as good. Ginger's quite nice. A second limit break or a second heavy blade. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A second limit break basically means we should be able to get our strength skilling like crazy, no? It's called Black Star. Second line break, does it, does it make us... Yeah, I think that just makes our scaling go crazy. Alright. Recall. Alright, this fight is a little bit of a doobie. Doozy. Because, uh... Okay, I gotta think about this one. Let me eat some more food. So we never got Impervious Disarm. I'm not out of the woods yet. I think Darker Brush is worth it. Oh baby, let's let's go. And flame's worth it here. Okay. Oh okay. Okay, 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 okay. Do we play Brutality for the card draw? Probably not worth it now, right? How about Berserk, though? For energy. Now, the multi hits are ready to be scary. He has 6 strength. I'm already struggling against multi hit here. I don't have headbutt. I need headbutt really bad. We can feed on these guys, though. That's, that's important. I could feed on these guys. That's worth something. I could have fed on the other one too, but honestly, I'm in a, a rock and a hard place here. I wonder if we sever soul and look for like win conditions. Do we ever sever soul and look for win conditions here? Like disarms. So sever soul just to like aggressively look for disarms. That sounds interesting, right? We got a limit break again. Maybe we, I think we honestly do do Sever Soul here and look for disarms. I can exhume that limit break and just win the fight. <laughs> Alright. If I had energy right now, this would be good for Sentinel. Mm. 
Alright, we take we bite this bullet. That's painful. And hopefully. Look at. We're gonna have Reaper so without having Reaper, this 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 whole strategy feels a little bit worse. With no Reaper. That's my only grievance. Let me block by here. Do we block by here? Nah, we're fine. Wow, okay. Uh do we impervious just to see what we draw? It's also a pretty decent block. I'm close to lethal, but not quite. So we got lethal now. And I can play Berserk. Is Berserk worth it? That means I'm vulnerable for the next turn. I don't know. We lost our Impervious, which is bad, but we have so much strength, it doesn't matter. Right? Don't have Evolve out. I can't play Berserk there. Vitality's probably fine. Um, we want to just push for damage here, because I don't want to take any more damage in this fight. I really don't. Oh, but there's feed. Ah, we can't do feed, right? It's not worth it. But we do need to heal somehow. Oh, I had two powers I could play. Fuck, I could have played one power. I'm oh, sorry, not two. Only one power. Only one power I could play. It's up to limit break. It's up to limit break. It's up to limit break. Okay. Flame bear is great. Alright, I, I can only play so many cards here, so I gotta be careful. Super Ring is great, okay. So, I wanna play this. I wanna play this. I wanna play this. I wanna try to get more strength before I do this in the break. If I wanted to exhaust, if I exhaust, it actually might be better if I exhaust, because I do have. Exhume. Okay. Gives us power, gives us healing. Leave us up with two cards. I think we just gotta proc him now. Just gotta proc him now. This, this full blocks. This pushes damage. Pushing damage is probably pretty important, huh? Nah, I think, yeah, we push damage here. Because we already have full block. Now yeah, we, we just, let me bring this to pop off. I, I'm a little bit worried about this deck. Let me bring it to pop off much faster. This helps. Okay. I need to do this. See what I get. Yikes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. There's another break. Alright, we, we, we win now. We just need to try to get some healing. So, we, we do win now. not intentional do I just I wonder if I, I don't block by here but I could mm, that makes me 36 if I do 36 then I will live one HP it's doable Reaper would be really really important here normally I'd, when I have a deck like this Reaper is really important uh, we do have lizard tail though um we're taking one damage we can bust and then one dimension brutality. So we're actually taking 38 if we <clears throat> rock this. We're actually taking 38 here. So we have the wage block pot. We're taking 38. And I can't proc this until it's too important. But I do want to proc heavy blade. Put this. Let me feed. Okay. Let's heal a little bit <clears throat> and then get feed. I have one more card, I can get a better Eternal Feather here. 
So Lizard Tail is my biggest thing. Uh, we didn't get as many good relics as I would like from the Black Star. Uh, we have really good heal, actually. We have full heal. We can just up upgrade because we have meal ticket as well. So, what's the good upgrade here? Is it the second limit break? Is it the metallicize? Is it the offering? Do we need two limit breaks? I think maybe leaving one limit break unupgraded is better for Exhum, actually. Maybe more card draw, but I actually have too, too often full hands. To make this easier, so limit break exhum is actually easier to. So that's so important, maybe. Since I want to exhum limit break so often, maybe this saves energy. Because I actually do think that it's imperative we get limit break, exhum limit break to scale up really quickly. Because our health is not going to last long. So basically, we're using Lizard Tail on our health. And that exhum energy should help a lot, especially if, if I get drawn to avoid. If I draw to avoid, that's really, really uh, detrimental. Alright, we don't have that much gold for this shop. Entrench could be interesting sometimes. I think Blood Pot is like a second lease on life. And Strength Pot can get my scaling that much quicker. So Blood Pot is sometimes a second lease on life, just a little bit, right? With Toy Ornithopter in the mix. Uh, do we just remove Curse instead? I mean, what if we get Corruption? I don't know. I think Blood Pot is too good here. Alrighty. Dark Embrace is huge. Dark Embrace is huge. Dark Embrace is huge. Oh, let's go. Okay, we GG. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Um, a mech hit, dark embrace. That's huge, guys. Did we just do feed and? What do we do here? What do we got next turn? Another offering right now? Huh. I could put offering next turn. Hmm. It's also not bad now. Wait. I don't want to lose too much life. Huh. But if I get limit breaks right now, finding limit breaks is so important, right? So, how do we free up space for offering here? Oh, flame bear, okay. I get two card draw here because of Dark Embrace, and then I have the, the Burn Skin card draw as well. So we have a full hand. And we have Final Pain as well. Double Sentinel is huge if I get a way to exhaust things like that. So we need like a second win or something. I can never push for lethal here, so. Uh, since I can't push for lethal, then I guess we're taking lots of damage. Where's the. I guess this power pot could be corruption, but I think we just take the damage here. It sucks that we don't have Reaper or anything like that. We still have a decent amount of life with Lizard Tail against the heart. I would like to mitigate more damage here. So it doesn't seem like I can. I think Inflame is too important. Inflame is too important. I, I would like to mitigate more damage. I really would. If anything, we need Blood Pot here. If they drop a potion, I do Blood Pot, then I'm fine. So actually, if they drop a potion, it would be ideal. Double limit coming up, so we have, we win after that happens. We win after that happens, and if driving a potion would be super ideal here. Right, so double limit break is huge, but then I don't have a way to turn my right back. So how do we find a way to turn our right back here? We always do exhum offering, so I don't think we commit just yet. That turns our back. Triple limit, yes, but turning my back is pretty important here. I don't want to take that much damage. If I can kill him, actually, it would be amazing. So if I can find Heavy Blade, that would be fantastic. As a matter of fact, I think we should actually exhume Offering here. At this point, we're just playing around in Blood Pot. Yeah, I think we have to do Offering here. Let me see. It's 42... Exhum Offering gives us energy to play more cards, maybe even find Happy Blade. Seems worth it. 
Have all these sentinels. Uh, there was a world where I could kill. I could kill the uh, spider spear with feed. Maybe that little bit of help is actually useful here. The, the feed. Maybe I should save the feed because. Um, yeah, there's a world where I could do hemo feed here, and then turn my back anyways. It doesn't do enough damage, it's the only problem, so I would have to use a potion to make this actually lethal, so that, that makes it not worth it. So I think we just have to turn our back like this. And we play another defend. And then we will get lethal heavy blades soon. And friendly we can feed on that guy. So we can do like this. We can set up lethal with feed, hopefully. I don't know how much I want to greed here, but it's definitely a, a thing I could do. I don't know how much I want to greed though. Let me see. I got the feed. Oh my god. Wow. So now the biggest thing would be a potion drops. Oh my god, a potion dropped. Oh my god. Okay. Cherry's action is nice. Not bad damage. Okay, whatever. Vajra helps my limit break. I don't hate that. I don't hate the Vajra here. Drink pack with Vajra. I don't hate it. If you use Shrink pack, we get some healing. It's fine. I wonder if Havoc is worth it here. To start. Nah. I mean, it's, it's another way to get, find corruption. Uppercut is weakened. We don't have weakened, right? I'm done. Got early limit break. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is the one we don't upgrade, right? We don't have headbutt, unfortunately. Let's see what powers we have. That's a barricade of Dark Embrace Juggernaut. Barricade is absolutely stupid bonkers. Dark Embrace also does a lot of things for our deck. Now, I could duplicate this limit break now and get the strength skilling going ASAP. We have a lot of life and Lizard Tail exists. Barricade does save life for the next turn. The thing is, Dark Embrace is so good here. No, killing him fast is never the consideration. We have so much... Our goal is to get strength scaling. And kill him, killing him fast is going to be our only thing that we could do. The most important thing is staying alive and drawing into scaling. And those two things are barricades for helping stay alive and Dark Embrace to help find our scaling. But with the fact that we have... The fact that we have a uh, double limit break right now, maybe Dark Embrace is not as necessary and barricade is probably better. Dude, are we duplicating them or are we trying to save it for something else? I could do second wind here. I want to upgrade more cards. I'll do this. Did I a puzzle already? I did, huh? I, I, I must have procced it in a bad way. Cross five cards. There's limit break. There's a demon form. Our strength scaling is done. But I don't think we need demon form. If anything, that is what we get rid of second wind. If anything, we do second win now to get a lot of block. We don't even need to flame anymore. I think this is a good second win turn. Get the block. That's a corruption. That's a game winning corruption. Okay. So what we could do is dual wheel of corruption so we find it sooner. Maybe this hit something big. What are we scared of it hitting? Hmm. What 
What are we scared of this thing hitting? I, I, if I can get the weak connection, that'd be fantastic. I want to upgrade the weak of anything. I think we just wait. We just honestly, we just wait here. We wait for uh, corruption to draw back around. And it's GG. So we're never, we're never born. We're never weakened. We got the weakened. That's huge. Sever Soul is fantastic. Okay, the weakening saves a lot of life here. We always have Lizard Tail, so I think we, we, we already won. But let me see what Exum can do. Exum can bring back Offering here, or Limit Break. Limit Break is probably better, huh? And we got the Weekend. Now, now it's just a, 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 a race. I damage you, and you damage me. Who wins? Well, I think I'm winning. So I think we do evolve here. Ah, uh, evolve's not as important. I think we definitely just block a little bit and maybe just do heavy blade and then maybe evolve's fine. Okay, cool. Probably pick berserk here. Oh no, probably not. Let me break again. Ooh, we. Am I overdoing on damage? I mean, there's no way he kills us before we kill him. Let's see if we can get feet on this guy. Got the weaken. No. This is a good second wind. It's a really good second wind. I want a feed here. There's another feed coming up. Ah, do I have to save this feed? I don't think I can do feed, guys. I could save the feed though. Technically. So here's what we could do. This does it hits the damage cap, gives us healing. And now, let's see if we can get a feed out of our ass somehow. Nah, fuck it, let's just go 4 0. That's a lot of damage. No, I know I have tail. I I could technically take the tail here and when we didn't even get to use the corruption. It was there as a bag burner. But yeah, GG. Damn, I was worried. Didn't matter. So much max HP, so much scaling. Tail was never used. The problem with Ironclad is that you have too much, too many resources. Nice. Alright, so 4 0, we already knew that was going to happen. I'm the best Ironclad East Coast, alright? Let me, you don't believe me? Just watch. Let me show you. I'm the best Ironclad on a peninsula. I'm the best Ironclad on a peninsula in the southwest corner. Check this out. Okay, I lied. No, I'm not lying. No, wait, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This man is not lying. Sorry.